Hello everyone, welcome to my page, Dr. America uh, Today I want to talk about something very important concerning the viable keys at University of Gardaia and more specifically at our Department of English Language. And today there was uh, Viva number 25, uh, which, which was about ESP. Uh, so, and the two candidates were Faiza Limluma and Khawla Masoud. So, uh, the Viva um, was with the, the, num uh, the members of the, the jury, uh, and the president was uh, Dr. Fatima Yahya. Now, we want to talk about their topic. Okay, so they are going to tell us about what uh, topic or what um, specific point dealt with in ESP and uh, they will tell us more about what they did exactly. So the floor is yours, Faiza, and then uh, Khawla. Yes. Okay. Uh, actually, the first question is about the ESP exam. Where some PhD and uh, MA students were not satisfied with the courses they were uh, offered uh, at, the, at their department, so we is, uh, we've chosen the Department of Biology to investigate the situation and the current uh, applications of the course design. So we wanted mainly to see if the needs of the students are fulfilled and if the teachers are adhering or they are respecting the ESP uh, course design framework. Okay, but what was the, uh, the most important point here? So you were focusing on what? Course design. On course design. So when we say course design, this implies what? Respecting the building blocks. The building blocks, uh, blocks sorry, which are? Needs and analysis. Huh? Uh, the, uh, setting objectives, setting goals and objectives, methodology, methodology theories, and assessment. And assessment. assessment. Okay. okay, but are these building blocks respected in those contexts? After the research, we've, uh, we've came to the result that they are not fully respected. Uh -huh. Teachers are not uh, really adhered to the ESP. So, what about uh, needs analysis? They're not conducting it. At all, actually. Mm -hmm. yeah. Which means the, the courses are uh, are planned uh, uh, like this at random, yeah. as if uh, they were general English uh, uh, courses. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. So let me let me uh, say something, or let me hear something from Dr. Fatima here. What do you think of um, uh, their topic? And I, uh, normally you have already taught. Yes, yes or not? Yeah. So, yes, please. So, uh, so hello, everyone. Uh, I was very really happy to be uh, the president of the jury members of the candidates. Um, really, I liked their topic, and I congratulate you for your intelligence for choosing uh, this title, which is really uh, a phenomenon at our university and all over Algeria. It means uh, we need an ESP course for. Uh, especially in the case of biology, the students doesn't, uh, do not need just to learn general English, but they would need to learn the technical words related to each uh, speciality. So uh, concerning their work, uh, I was really happy to, to examine it. It was really a, a very important dissertation, uh, a very excellent one, uh, well-designed, uh, well-chosen titles of the chapters, well designed the uh, questionnaire and interview, uh, it was a good work. Okay, thank you. Uh, now, about the approach that you used in your uh, dissertation, was it the, the most suitable approach? Well, actually, yes. Concerning the, uh, for especially with the data collection method and the time frame that we are given, so it was, yes, suitable. You mean the, the descriptive type of descriptive research? Descriptive type of research where we've adapted for uh, triangulation, uh, quantitative and qualitative methods. We've, we've opted for three instruments, questionnaire, semi-structured interview with teachers, and classroom observation. So okay. those two uh, approaches is in itself a challenge yes. to have the questionnaire for the students to analyze it for 100, I think, three students and an interview with the teacher. Oh. This is really a challenge. Okay, uh, but why do uh, 
students, um, uh, I mean, uh, miss these, uh, these sessions. Because you mentioned that many students yes. skip their classes. Uh, yes, they, uh, they are always absent, or they are most of the time absent. But why? This was what I considered as a limitation for our study. While at the beginning we saw that students are interested towards the, the English language itself, uh -huh. not towards the courses. Ah, okay. Here, this is what raised up and uh, make us sure that the courses are not uh, uh, offered as they have to be. Yeah. Which means they are not attractive. Yes, yes. especially they, they, they are attracted towards the language, not towards the courses. Uh -huh. okay. Especially they were stating that the, the content of the courses they were all, they already dealt with they dealt with this uh, these parts and yes. these activities and everything yes. it means uh, the lessons for beginners as yes. yes. uh, yes. this yes. emphasizes that needs analysis not conducted yes. yes. okay but when you when you uh, interviewed some teachers what did they tell you concerning this have you for example asked them about why students are uh, always absent they, uh, for for the teachers, they were not really uh, uh, they were not knowing what course design is exactly. Ah, so they thought that they uh, are going on the right path. Mm. They okay. thought that it is the students' mistake, not their mistake. Um, I think that there is another reason. Maybe uh, students of biology they think that English is an extra module, mm -hmm. so they don't need to. Uh, it hasn't much uh, much friction, and they don't need. Uh, to attend, they need to attend sessions of uh, natural sciences, physics, mathematics. This is another reason. Indeed, it was mentioned that this, uh, from the teacher, from the part of the teacher, they stated that uh, this video is just with the completion of uh, okay. one. So uh, this is the problem. Yes. Okay. So uh, after all, what have you benefited from, from this uh, study? Mm -hmm. Okay, we've got to know more about ESP. And its importance. We've got to know the to go in deep into the situation of English into the Department of Biology, and to know more about course design and its importance. And maybe to help a little bit teachers. Maybe our work would help teachers to know that they really need to adhere to the ESP framework. So it has been very interesting. And uh, congratulations for the second time. So thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Fatima.